Hi everybody and welcome to another in the Sean's Two Cents. I'm here with you guessed it by the title, my Money in the Bank review. Hey, you guys are wondering, why did it take so long for me to get the review out? Usually I'm right in the hot tub after the, the show. Well, I wasn't exactly jumping for the hot tub after this show. Also, the Game of Thrones season finale was last night, plus Silicon Valley. Holy shit, those season finales were amazing. So, I had more things to do. This show was just, oh my god. And I don't like to bitch, bitch and bash to be, because everybody else does that. I'll leave it, that's everybody else's job. Not my job. I'm here to spread the good word of wrestling in a hot tub. That's what I'm here to do. But, I'm going to give my opinions on this show. And it might be harsh, but it's what I feel. So we open up with Sheamus. I mean, not, I mean with the Money in the Bank. Sorry, I read the, read the first part. Sorry, forget it. Redo. We open with the Money in the Bank ladder match. I mean, I don't know, didn't know how to make a ladder match kind of boring. This match had a few good spots, but overall, very uneventful. There were cool spots, I guess. The RKOs were in the order were pretty cool, but... Been there, done that, all the, yeah, it's not really. And then Roman Reigns looks like he's going to win, and all of a sudden Bray Wyatt shows up. What? That is very questionable. I get, it's fine stuff for Bray Wyatt to do, and Wyatt right Wayne's might be a good match. It has got being at Battleground. Sorry for that song. Right, back to the review. The match ended with Sheamus knocking the ball top rope, and your winner is... Sheamus? I wouldn't see that coming. Uh, good for him? Uh, don't see where this is going. It's very scratch my head kind of win. So that was your main the big match. I would give it three stars or I'll give it two and a half. I think I'll give it two and a half. Neville was fun. Neville and Ziggler. And then we had Nikki, Bella, and Paige. I'm not into the feud. I don't care about the feud. The match was so boring, and then the ending was so ridiculous. They tried to use some magic, but Paige countered and pinned Bree. And then they're like, no, that's not her, and Bree starts taking out the padding from the bra and showing that she has tattoos, and it's reversed, and Nikki wins with Rock Tag. That is just. I don't know. That's just Tractor Head booking. It's just weird. Then we have Big Show versus Ryback in just a. I, I, this match is so fucking boring. Uninteresting at all. Show on by disqualification when The Miz interfered. So they're adding The Miz into this feud. So, yay. Miz, Big Show, Ryback, Triple Threat for the IC title coming soon. Yay. And then we had our bright spot of the night. We had Cena and Owens in another class. And these two have great chemistry. They worked so well together in the back and forth. And Cena pulling out a fucking code red? Damn, Cena pulling out all the stops. Really good match. Both guys had awesome things. Did awesome. Cena gets the win, which you thought he would. That's usually how it works. One guy wins one match, the other guy wins the other, and then they have a match. Cena tries to shake the hand of Owens. He shakes it, and Owens turns on him. Power bombs on the apron. He leaves with his head held high. That was great booking. Definitely continue no one see the storyline and hopefully at Battleground, uh, uh, Owens had lost. Will have lost the NXT title and it'll just be the U.S. title and definitely put the U.S. title on Owens. I see that's what's happening. Owens will have the U.S. title at Battleground. They may have the tag team title match. The prime time players for New Day. This match seemed very quick to me. Uh, prime time players won their new tag champs. Good for them. They're cool. Then we have the ladder match for Diddy World title. It will, uh, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose. Really good match. They pulled out all the stops. They were brutal by WWE standards. That power bomb onto the ladder and chairs was crazy. These two beat the shit out of each other for 40 minutes. And I think, I think it's the class. I think it was definitely a four star match. Definitely. One of the few reasons to check the pay per view out is Rollins and Ambrose are definitely classic. Their matches have been like legendary right now. Their Raw match was great. 
their match from last time was great, and this one was awesome. Definitely. Overall, Cena and Owens makes me want to give a thumbs up. But if you're watching, gonna watch the show, definitely only watch Cena Owens and then Rollins and Ambrose. That's about it. That's what I said. So follow me on Twitter at Sean Sense. If you more, like more reviews like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Sean Sense. And just have a great day and peace.